Hey there, I'm Charlotte, the Gulf Coast Granny, and today I got a box of Christmas magic delivered to me. Check out the lights and sounds of Christmas. This is a machine that I bought when my baby daughter was, I think, a year old. And what it does is you plug your lights into the bottom of it, and it makes the lights dance to the music. And here it is, y'all. You plug your lights in down here. Three, three different strands, but you can daisy chain some together. This is the mode button, and it turns the music on. This turns the lights on and off. You also have three different varieties of lights. This is multi strands of lights flashing at different times. This one is in unison, and this one, the lights are on, but they're not flashing. You can determine how fast or slow you want the lights to flash with these buttons here. This is your song selection. You can flash through them if you want to. I never do. I just let them, you know, play. And this is a volume up and down button, and I'm going to turn it on for you so you can hear the music. excited that I was able to buy this because I told you that I bought the last one when my baby girl was about a year old. She is 16 now and about six years ago we had an ice storm and water got into the system and ended up shorting out and I've been looking for one ever since and I didn't know the name of it. So the other day just by chance I did a Google search for dancing Christmas lights and I found it. And believe it or not, I found it at Menards online for $65. Well, the one that I bought years ago was, I believe, just over $200. Now, this one does look a little bit different than the one I bought a few years back. But there's no difference in the way that it performs. The reason I wanted this this year is because Poppy and I are making... A little winter wonderland out of the garden and we're doing good morning everybody um, I wanted to do this a little earlier the Sun came up faster than I thought but I thought I'd give you a little view of our Christmas wonderland that we made for the kids and walk through it and demonstrate how the lights and sounds of Christmas actually works um, this bed here in the front it's gonna get a few more lights added around the perimeter and across the back of that fence there, that little two foot fence. This is my lamp post that I just got. And I got the big candy canes a couple of weeks ago at Walmart, but we've had these little candy canes down here for years and years and years. I keep wondering when they're gonna give out on us. Back in this bed, we just have the hoops for the hoop house, but we've wrapped them in tinsel garland and lights. This bed is covered in enormous ornaments, and my flamingo fell over. We're going to have to figure out how to keep him up. We had a storm last night, and he got knocked over, apparently. The wind's blowing pretty good today. I got that inflatable a couple weeks ago, too, to add to the little display. These Christmas trees we've had forever, and they're amazing. I love them. Um, decorated the trellis a little bit with some old-fashioned big old lights. And that's where the magic is going to take place there. We're going to put all of the kids' gifts right there in that hay so they can come through and look for them. I'm going to have plates of cookies and candies and I'm going to have some hot chocolate for them. Now this fence here, this is a thing y'all. I've had that ornament for years and this year it finally stopped working. So Poppy's decided he's going to Go buy some white lights and restring the whole thing so that it works and we can hang it on the fence. And what we'll probably do is add some lights around the perimeter of that fence. 
just to give it a little more pizzazz. Um, this is the Lights and Sounds of Christmas machine. And it's making all of these lights just dance, and I love it. comment below and tell me what you think of this. Um, if you're interested in buying one, go to Menards, M-E-N-A-R-D-S. I'll leave a link in the description below and that way you can just click on it and go straight there. I've always loved Christmas lights and I get fascinated with those big elaborate light shows. And this isn't a big elaborate light show, but it's big enough for me. Y'all have a great day. Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you again real soon. All right?